Measuring growth is important. And if you don't do it, you won't know if you're making progress. The same applies to your websites, but luckily you don't need to do it manually as there's plenty of tools out there to help you track your progress and track your rankings. So today we're gonna to be looking at three of the best rank tracking tools out there. Two of them are paid, one of them is free, and I've got another bonus one for you at the end that will allow you to track 100 keywords pretty cheaply. So let's dive in and take a look. So the first option we're gonna take a look at is the free option, which is SEMrush. And this allows you to track up to 10 keywords. So we're gonna go ahead and add six keywords to SEMrush and take a look at how it displays them, how accurate they are, and any additional information that SEMrush gives us. Now, of course, SEMrush is a keyword research tool. It gives us a lot more than that. It's a backlink tool. It essentially allows you to audit your own site. There's, there's plenty going on there and you'll get all of this in the free version. Of course, there are gonna be limitations and there is a jump up to the paid version, but as a basic rank tracking tool, it works pretty well. So you can see in the position tracking section, I've added my age domain case study, summer analytics, and I've added six keywords here. And we can see these keywords. It gives us a really nice graphical interface and it gives us this nice snapshot of how many keywords we've got in the top three, in the top 10, top 20, and top 100. We can view all of the keywords and here they are listed for us. It gives us the type of keyword that SEMrush deems this to be, so whether it's transactional, information, or commercial type keyword. It gives us our current position. It will then compare it to a previous date. Now, I added these keywords about an hour ago, and it still hasn't given us the, the keyword volumes here, so that, that's still coming through. I'm surprised it's taken that long, but then it also tells us which URL is the URL that's ranking for this keyword in the top position for this specific site. The other thing that SEMrush does really well is it will tell us the keywords that we're ranking for. So if we go back to our SEO dashboard, we can see that we can go into organic keywords. There's 854 there at the moment. And it's only going to give us the top 10, but you can see those there. and. If you do want to view more, then you can access a free trial. It also breaks it down by country, much like you would expect to see in Ahrefs. So you've got the UK, we've got Canada, and then we've probably got a few others in there as well. So of course, SEMrush is going to be fairly limited because it is our free version. But if you're just starting out, or you just wanna get a feel for what a, a rank tracker looks and feels like, then it's a great starting place. Next up, we're going to look at SE ranking. Now, this is a tool that I've used on and off in the past. I do really like it. It's, it's not the cheapest tool, but it does have quite a lot of functionality and the interface is excellent. So again, I went in and this is a free trial account at the moment. So you can sign up for this. I don't believe you have to give them your credit card details. So you can just sign up for this free account and I think you get access to it for about 10 or 15 days. You can see I've got eight days left of, of the trial account here. So I've added some keywords again to the summer analytics domain. So you can have multiple projects in here. The other thing that I like is that you can set it up for different search engines so you can quickly flip between the two. And you can also look at past dates and compare dates, which is really good for assessing the progress that you've made. I really am quite a big fan of SE ranking because the interface is so easy to use. But there's also lots of other data within the tool as well. So let's take a look at what else you get. So one of the features that I really like in SE ranking is the My Competitors section where it will actually identify your top competitors based on the keywords that you've given it. So we can see there's a range of different sites here. We'd obviously ignore Amazon and any big e-commerce sites like that, but this one's a particularly interesting one, this NootropicsExpert.com, because that is a purely Nootropics focused website, which is pretty similar to Sommer Analytics. 
And then you can also go in and add your own competitors too. So if it's not picking up the ones that you want, you can go in and add those. So I've added this one here, Holistic Nootropics. And if we click into USA, for example, which is our, our main market, then we can see, again, the keywords that we have added we can see where the competitor ranks in relation to that. And we can see that this particular competitor doesn't actually rank for any of those keywords. So if we go back into the, the detailed ranking section, we can, and we're in the USA section here, like I said, we can very quickly switch between the two, which is quite handy. We can also modify the search volume. So if we're not happy with the search volumes that are provided, and we've got a better handle on those search volumes, we can go in and edit those which is also pretty handy to do. And we can see that these search volumes were added at the same time that I added the SEMrush data, and this has pulled through already. Again, it gives us that nice breakdown of the top, how many we've got in the top one, the top three, the top five, top 10, 30, and over 100. And it's a pretty nice interface to use. It's got a lot more stuff up here. It's got keyword research, competitive research, even a backlink checker and a keyword research tool. So all in all, there's plenty going on with SE ranking and you get a decent amount for the price that you pay. And we'll compare the prices of these plans in a moment. But the next one I want to show you is ProRank Tracker, which is the one that I've used for over five years and it has always served me really, really well. Again, we get this breakdown of rankings in the top 100, the top one, two to three, the top 10, the top 20, and then the top 100. I quite like the way in which the, the rankings are laid out on this. I think it's very easy to look at. I like the color coded nature of it. The, the green means that it's gone up and the red obviously means that it's gone down. I like the fact that you can see at a glance where you were a day ago, a week ago, and a month ago. And I typically tend to compare my progress on a month by month basis. So this keyword here, for example, we can see that was position seven a month ago and is now position one. The other thing that's quite nice with with this rank tracker is that you can use this graphical representation of the progress or the fluctuations over time. So for example, if we look at this new tropic libido gummy keyword, we can see that before we published it, it obviously wasn't in the top 100. It went straight in at position one. It then spent a week or so there before dropping down. It then popped back up. It then dropped down again, but then it's gone back into that position one. Now this is really useful to see, particularly over a longer period of time. So if we've got keywords in here that were three months, six months, you can see if we can take it down to a week, you can see the graph adapts to show that. But I think that's a really nice way to look at it. The other thing that we can do, if we've got lots of keywords in here, is we can filter it by keywords. So let's say I just wanted to see my new cube keywords, I could filter that, and again, I can easily see those positions. We also have this rankings discovery section, which is really handy for finding other keywords that you rank for, and it will tell you whether they're in the top 100, the top 50, the top 30, top 20, or top 10. So that's really useful for finding other keywords that you rank for. And a little trick here that you can do with this for some competitor research and analysis and further keyword research for yourself, if you track a couple of keywords for one of your competitors using ProRank Tracker, then you can use that keyword discovery tool and it will show you all of the keywords that your competitors rank for. So this is really useful for identifying new keywords as well as keywords that you already rank for. And that's all well and good, but of course we don't wanna be paying a fortune for these tools. So let's take a look at the pricing. Now realistically, I would say that most people when they're starting out are going to need somewhere in the region of 100 to 500 keywords being tracked per month. And 250 is a good starting point to use. Now, SE ranking, that is the lowest that it actually goes. So you can't go below that. It's also worth pointing out that most of these tools will give you a discount based on if you pay annually. So they actually give you a 20% discount on annual payments. And if we look at Pro Rank Tracker, we can see that they do the same. So you get that 20% discount. Now, all of these tools will update on a daily basis. However, SE Ranking does give you the opportunity 
to save more money by having your rankings checked every three days or even weekly, which brings that price down significantly. So if you are happy to go with the weekly or the every three days, then of course that does bring the price down for SE ranking. But just to do a fair comparison, we'll keep it with daily for now. So we can see that SE ranking is £26.40 per month for 250 keywords. Whereas if we compare that to ProRank Tracker, for 250, it's $23 a month, which is actually £19.33 in British pounds. So Pro Rank Tracker is a little bit cheaper, but you are getting a little bit more functionality with SE ranking. As we move up to 500 terms, the prices are fairly similar. Pro Rank Tracker is still slightly below where SE ranking is, but if you wanted to only track 100 words, SE ranking does not give you that option, whereas Pro Rank Tracker allows you to track just 100 terms per month and $11 per month. And I'll be honest, between SE Ranking and Pro Rank Tracker, there isn't a huge amount in it. Personally, I just prefer the simplicity of Pro Rank Tracker. I like my, my rank tracking tools to be just that. I don't really want to use them in depth for keyword research. So I'm quite happy to work with the framework that Pro Rank Tracker gives me. But what if you want it even cheaper? Well, there is one other option. I'm not gonna go into the functionality behind it. What I will tell you is it works great and it's a little bit cheaper, particularly if you want just those 100 keywords. So this is your bonus one. And the tool here is ranktracker.com. Now this is giving you a 50% discount by paying annually. If you pay monthly, it does actually come in a little bit more expensive than Pro Rank Tracker. But again, particularly if you're wanting to go for 100 keywords or even 500, this is the cheapest option and it gives you plenty of functionality and it's ranktracker.com. Now links to all the keyword tracking tools are down in the description below. If you do use those links, they are affiliate links, so thank you for using them if you do and it won't cost you any more, but it will help fund the channel. And once you've signed up for your tool of choice, watch this video next to watch your rankings go upwards, because this is gonna help you get your on-page SEO absolutely spot on. Guys, thanks for watching, good luck with your projects, and enjoy tracking those rankings.